Jeeverse Attributes is the new attribute computation and analysis tool from LMKR and is part of our new Jeeverse suite of tools. This video is about spectral decomposition analysis in Jeeverse Attributes. Jeeverse Attributes offers a proprietary spectral decomposition technique called Continuous Amplitude and Phase Spectrum or CAPS. CAPS is a multi-resolution transform that provides simultaneous time and frequency resolution by using multiple analysis windows of varying sizes, thus providing good localization as well as high signal-to-noise ratio. Spectral decomposition is a computationally intensive and a very time-consuming process. There is also a large number of output volumes created. A separate amplitude and phase volume for each analyzed frequency is created and must be saved on disk. And analysis tools provided by seismic interpretation systems do not enable efficient workflows. Jeeverse Attributes addresses all these problems and makes carrying out a spectral decomposition analysis on your seismic data easy, fast, and efficient. For our first example, I'm going to try and delineate channels and other features in the F3 dataset from Offshore Netherlands. I have the data loaded into the application. First, we will perform a spectral analysis in our zone of interest using the spectrogram and power spectrum tools. Click on power spectrum from the toolbar and highlight the area you want to analyze. You can see the spectrum for the selected area and we can see the dominant frequency range in this area is from 24 to 72 Hz. Using the spectrogram tool, we can select a trace and view the time frequency breakdown of the selected trace. I'm going to open a time slice in our zone of interest and add six panels and view the amplitude response on different frequencies on each of the panels. Click the add button five times to add five new panels. On panel two, I will view the 28 Hz response, 36 Hz on panel three, 48 Hz on 4, 56 on 5, and 68 Hz on panel number 6. We can see that different features show up on different frequency bands. So on the 28 Hz response, we can see part of one channel. On the 36 Hz, we can start to see another one as well. And different parts of these channels appear on other frequency components. So we can see how easily we can perform our spectral decomposition analysis in Jeeverse attributes without having to spend a lot of time computing cubes of different frequencies and not having to store any amplitude or phase volumes to disk. For the second example, we are going to do a thin bed analysis using a wedge model. I have a model displayed here. I created a synthetic sizing volume for this model. I'm now going to load that volume into my workspace. Again, I'm going to add 6 panels and view different frequency responses on each of the panels. 4 Hz on panel 2, 20 Hz on panel 3, 32 Hz on 4, 44 Hz on 5, and 56 Hz on panel 6. Now you can see the difference in each of the frequency response very easily and quickly. So Jeeverse Attributes significantly simplifies your spectral decomposition workflows so that you spend more time analyzing your data and waste less time and disk space creating your frequency volumes. For more information, please visit our website lmkr.com slash Thank you for watching.